A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Today I would like to talk about a seemingly paradoxical situation that my students always encounter when talking about repeating decimals. And that's like the second last video with regards to repeating decimals. One more video and then we are done. So just imagine that you are a student sitting there learning about repeating decimals currently and you just wanna basically um, find out where to put the bar over, over the, re the repeating um, periodic part. So then I'm the teacher and I'm going to give you for example this number um, O dot, I don't know, um, yeah, one, three, five, one, three, five, dot, dot, dot. And okay, as a student you are going to notice, okay, yeah, one, three and five are repeating because the dot 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 is going to uh, start after the last five, okay? And then you would like to convert this into zero dot one, three, five with a bar over it. Okay, so now I'm there and I'm going to give you another repeating decimal, for example, um, and it's going to be the following. For example, O dot um, two, four, six, two, four, six, two, four, dot dot dot. And this is the question that I always get when I teach stuff like this and I start placing the dots just somewhere, it really doesn't matter. Students start to ask me, um, but Herr Fehler, Mr. Fehler, whatever, um, where do we have to put the bar over it? I mean, obviously 246 is the repeating thing right here, but now you put the dots behind the 4. Doesn't that also mean that for example 624 is repeating all the time? 624, 624, dot dot dot. So students ask me the question, um, do we have now O dot 24 and then 624 repeating? And then I tell the students, no, it ain't that way. Actually, it really doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you put the periodic bar over the 624 or if you just do it like this, O dot 246. Doesn't really matter, doesn't make a difference if you have this or this. And I always say no, because actually repeating decimal expansions, turning those into fractions are actually unique. It doesn't matter where you start putting your bar over the repeating part, as long as you get all the repeating decimals in, okay? If you just put the bar over the two four, that's obviously wrong because you are missing it out on a six. But it really doesn't matter if you put it like this or like this, or if you just start um, pu putting the repeating bar over this part, for example. It really doesn't matter, they are actually uniquely determined. And I'm going to show it to you, um, let's say on this example right here, let's find out if those two right here are actually the same and you can generalize this procedure for any arbitrary repeating decimal. They are always unique. The proof, the abstract proof is actually rather messy because it involves a lot of powers of 10 and the like, but I'm going to show you how, to, how you can go through the whole abstract uh, proving procedure on an example. So let us go ahead and get started and let's say we want to show that those two right here are the same. I mean for this one right here it's actually rather easy because we know how to convert regular repeating decimals with an O at the front um, into just a fraction. Namely we are going to take the repeating part 246 and we are going to divide it by well all nines under each and every digit up there. And that's what we got 246 over 999. Now we want to show that those two have the same fraction expansion. Okay, now for this we are going to split this number up. Let us go ahead and get started and let's split this number right here up. So we have 0.24624 repeating. Now this right here is the same as 0. Dot, okay, now we got 24 plus and now we got 0.00 and the repeating part. 0.00246 repeating. No, 624, I'm terribly sorry, 624 repeating, now like this. Okay, now what we are going to do is, okay, converting this into a fraction is rather easy. This is 24 over 100, okay, so what we get is 24 over, and 100 is nothing but 10 squared. Okay, and other than that, hmm, what we can do here is we can rather 
uh, we would rather like to turn this right here into something of the form O dot, blah, 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 repeating because we know how to turn this into some kind of um, fraction expansion. Maybe what we are going to do is we are going to turn this into something of the form, so plus 10 to the negative two because we are going to track two decimal places to the outside times and then we are going to get O dot six to four repeating. And we know how to handle this. This is why I converted it. Namely, what we're going to get is, okay, on the one hand, we're going to have 24 over 10 squared. Okay? And like I mentioned before, this is the abstract procedure you would like to go through to when dealing with um, just some random arbitrary fraction expansion or decimal expansion that you're going to get. Um, plus, and then we are going to get, okay, this part that we're having here is nothing but six to four over and filling everything with nines down there. Okay, and then we are obviously going to get 624 divided by, and now we are going to get 10 squared, okay, because don't forget your 10 to the negative 2th power, times 999. Okay, this is what we got right now, but how can we now proceed from this point onwards? What I would like to do is, I would like to um, rewrite the 999 as the more abstract part that we are used to, namely 999 is nothing other than, okay, we got three decimals up here. So this is 10 to the third power minus one. And now everything becomes a bit more clear if you want to go through the whole abstract procedure. Namely, we want to bring this onto a common denominator. And for this, we are going to expand this fraction right here by 10 to the third power minus one over 10 to the third power minus one. Giving us overall, okay, we are going to get 24 times 10 to the third power minus one and then plus okay and now I'm going to break a bit of stuff up namely as you might notice the 24 that we're having here is actually part of the 624 too namely 624 is nothing but 600 plus 24 okay and now everything becomes more apparent in a second and also we got 10 squared times and 10 to the third power minus one okay now what we are going to do is we are going to factor everything out that we are having here using the distributive laws. Leaving us overall with, okay, on the one hand, we are going to get 24 times 10 to the third power, and then 24 minus one times minus one is negative 24. And also the last thing that we are going to get is just a 624, so plus 600 plus 24 divided by, okay, all of this divided by <laughs> 10 squared times 10 to the third power minus one. Now you are going to notice something, namely the thing that was in front of our 624 is actually going to cancel out right here, okay? This is good, this is really good. And now what we are going to be left with is, okay, on the one hand, we are going to have 24 times 10 to the third power. This is going to give us um, 24,000, Okay, overall plus 600 is going to give us 24,600, adding this together, divided by, okay, we are going to get 10 squared is nothing other than 100 times 10 to the third power minus one. Now you are going to notice something. If we um, were to track the 100th place out of the 24,600, we are going to get 246, Divide, uh, times 100 divided by 100, meaning the decimal places, and not the decimal places, the, the tenth and the hundredth place, are going to cancel out, leaving us overall with 246 over 10 to the third power minus one. It's nothing other than 999. And yeah, this is what we want to find out. See, those two are actually the same because they have the same unique fraction expansion. And this is basically the abstract procedure you would like to go through too. Okay, um, making sure that you're writing out the 10 to the third power minus one or the 10 to the nth power minus one, I don't care. And then actually factoring everything out and subtracting the part that you have the same up here uh, from it. And then you can start um, get, getting rid of the 10 hundred thousands places that you're having here and then you are certainly done. Yeah, and this is how it works out. Um, I hope this video was to your liking. This is just something that um, Many people probably never thought about, but yeah, this is something that happens a lot of times. Um, same spiel, um, give me a second, with the 0 0.99999 whatsoever. Um, people ask a lot of times, um, this is like the same thing, um, 
if it does matter where you put the bar over it. So this right here is certainly the same as 0 0.9 repeating, but this right here is also the same as 0 0.99 repeating and so on. You could go through this procedure a lot of times with n places. But then through the fraction expansion that we get here, we are going to fill all the nines that we have on top up with the nines on the bottom. And actually it's going to turn out to be the same thing overall. So yeah, um, but more on this in the next video about um, repeating decimals and also the last video about repeating decimals. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, make a comment, channel, if you like if you want to support channel a bit more, you know how you can do so. And up until the next video, I'll show you guys a flammable day. Ciao.